first flight in the Eurofighter Typhoon and they've sent me out to Broken Hill I guess on the premise that it's as far away from anybody as you can get so I can't hurt too much so let's give it a go spooling engines up through 90% tow brakes off coming up into burner 40 knots, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 120, going to rotate 5 degrees, if I can, Oop, we're up and away, tap the brakes, gear up, auto flaps, 260 knots already, so let's go back to mill power, everything's still attached, Makes a great sound. And uh, right, let's, you know, let's set my auto throttle to 250. Turn landing lights off. 250. Just in case I want to use that. And. Okay, that's set. Ready to use. And speed's already dropped back, so let's keep an eye on that. Beautifully uh, detailed hut. Let's do a few uh, runs up and down the runway. I think it's probably a good idea. Because I've got to find it first. Right, over there. Let's get my moving map set up better here. That's better. Right. I'm some very low cloudy today too. And well, 400 knots already. I'm going to set my course indicator to match the runway. That's the one we want. It's all feeling very smooth and fluid. Runway 05, that's what I want. Right, got that dialed in. It's about 150 feet radar altitude. So the only, well, my main takeaway from RTF aiming was at uh, below 200 knots, I think it is. You fly by a wire, disconnects, and you're down to manual trim and different flight regime. So uh, just keep an eye on that. Right, let's go over the top. Full burner, it's four G's. Start nice and easy. Up into the clouds, 200 knots. Pull up, pull up. Wow, she's very insistent. So it's a pretty low cloud layer that's going to be interesting. I like the um, turbulence sounds. Do a low pass down the runway. I've got to say my new wing wing Orion joystick makes this feel so realistic. Wow. Transonic. That's fast. Oh, thank you. That is cool. Mark 1.05. Let's not uh, break the jet. Might as well do a zoom climb, I reckon. Stain burner. Let's go 30 degrees up. And yep, we're going through 7,000 feet, 8,000 feet. 
some guy sitting there. Now, disconcerting. 13,000 feet. Oh, let's unplug the burner. Level off at 20,000, I reckon. Well, you know, close enough for government work. 22,000. So the reason that guy appeared is because I, I pushed my um, pilot seat back further than the usual. Great rear view actually, that's nice. Displays are very clear. Uh, what's not to like? Right, let's go back to the airfield. Do a couple of circuits and then uh, try to land. That's 3G coming up. Oh, got a stall warning there. It's interesting. Now, where is my runway? I ask you. Did ever dialed in. Um, 114.2, but I lost that. Let's dial that in again. 114. Where is it? 114.2. Okay, 11 miles, 1 o'clock. Righto. Pull up, pull up. Transonic. Wow. Right, just under Mark 1. Certainly got some get up and go. Let's try the roll rate. Full deflection. Yep, pretty brisk. Um, it's at speed about 500 knots. Could be slightly brisker in my opinion, but I'm no expert. But certainly um, brisk enough. Right, four miles to the airport. There we go, let's do um, a few high G turns over the town, then come back and land, I think. Transonic. Wow, doesn't turn long. Seven G's. Whew. Let's try that again. Nice. <laughs> I didn't notice it uses the CFD compu computational fluid dynamics model. And it certainly is fluid. Okay, let's do those. Maybe a touch and go, then lead. But not at transonic speeds. So, wow, well, there's a lot of info on that hard nav information, bottom left. Uh, I think you got radar altitude option as well. Autopilot stuff at the top. Oh, yep, I'm dialing in the altitude, see, 2500 feet. Awesome. And top left is the, um, you know, automated uh, throttle setting, which I won't use for now. Right, hey, let's just do a touch and go. Okay, 
270 knots, 260. Gear coming down, 243. So this is where the uh, transition 200 knots they reckon into non-fly-by-wire mode. Let's see what happens. So we're going to get a good touch here. Right on 200 knots as well. Okay, and let's go around. Touch. Gear up. Uh, 150 knots seem to be the recommended approach speed. Now we get a lot of buffety noises there. Gear is up, yep. I'm going to use the uh, onboard uh, landing computer. Channel 2, let's see if we can do a nice approach. Channel 1, Channel 1. Uh, I think I want to land on runway 23. Channel 1, Channel 2. Channel 1 Channel 2 Wow Yankee Bravo Hotel India Traffic Tiger 1431 is on final runway 2 tree to land That's a lot of channels okay, Let's turn on the uh, There it is Slow down. Just want to ride back. Tap the brakes. Landing gear. Yes, thank you. Landing gear. I mean, this is where they reckon 150. Airspeed low. Mm, okay. Airspeed low. Okay. Airspeed low. Airspeed low. Yeah, five knots low. Well, it's a narrow window. It's telling me too fast. Airspeed low. Right, oh, um, interesting. I'm going to believe the heart, I guess. And fly that staple down to the runway. One, one landing, two landings to get the nose down, to put the speed brake out and locked. Try some back pressure, might help slow down. Okay, we're down. Whew. Well, it looks like a very slick and exciting and uh, sophisticated machine. I think I'm going to enjoy flying it.